This guy here is really interesting. Number 1153, Peter Toner, um, Pennsylvania soldier. He's one of a group of Irish Pennsylvanians um, that were here, um, that were interconnected with each other. So it's, it, he's a really good example of how guys from Ireland operated together and stayed together um, when, they, when they were in Andersonville. So some of his friends were guys like Michael Doherty from Falcarra in the North Donegal, who was in the 13th Pennsylvania Cavalry, who later got a Medal of Honor. He was here with him. Um, another guy, Fergal Gallagher of the 13th Pennsylvania Cavalry from Donegal, who was here and is buried here. A guy called Andrew McKevitt, who's buried here under the name John Burke. So he enlisted under an alias, who died here on the 1st of August. All of them were from Donegal, and all of them served in different Pennsylvania units. Um, and it's very interesting to consider that they're st sticking together because they're from the same region of Ireland and because they're in the same service. But Michael Doherty, who was one of the only one of that group to survive, um, actually brought out Peter Toner's will um, that, that was handed to him. And it was printed just after the war in the Philadelphia uh, newspaper. Uh, and I'll just read a section of it. This is the certified that I, Peter Tony, of Toner of Company I, 90, 90th Regiment, Pennsylvania Volunteers, who was captured October 11th in Culpeper County, Virginia, and now lie in hospital in this camp and not expected to survive, and being now of sound mind, do leave, say that my sister Catherine Toner should have whole control of what money I left behind in Philadelphia. I authorize her to collect my back pay with the regular amount of ration money due me from the government and all the emoluments that the government of the United States gives to a soldier to which I am duly entitled being kept a prisoner of war and receiving no pay from the government since the 1st of September 1863. I further wish to say to you, dear sister Catherine, that you will pay Mr. John Burke of the same company and regiment who has acted a friend to me during my captivity $25 which I owe him and do him any other kindness which you can bestow. At other sections are missing but he makes reference to his mother if she's still alive that he wants her to be looked after and talks about his sister having discretion to give mother to his brother and his other sister. Um, and also he wants her to talk to his uncle about getting money from the government for the rest of his family. Um, he signs it and he dies shortly afterwards. The man he mentions, as I said, also dies. So Doherty ends up bringing out not only Peter Toner's um, will, but the will of the other fella as well. But very interesting because it gives us this direct link into how Irish guys are staying together in the camp.